What's happening, mi gente? Louis the Bolman here. Whip out, guys. I have exciting news for you today. Today, we're going to do a thorough maintenance on a Navian board. That's right. When I say thorough, we're going to go above and beyond. Not only do the maintenance and a couple of repairs. We didn't do this job, but hey, this is why I tell you guys how important it is to do maintenance. So, we're working on a Navian NCB240E, guys. That's right. So, stay tuned because I think you're going to like this video. Stay tuned. Whip out. Alright, me hinted. So remember what I told you guys? How important it is to do maintenance? Got it. It's very important. I'm gonna tell you why. So in this particular job, a buddy of mine, his name is Octavio, big shout out to Octavio. He tell me, Louie, my board is acting up, it's making noise. I feel like somebody's like hitting the door or something's going on. And he tells me he thinks it's plumbing because somebody gave him the wrong information because he thought he needed an expansion tank and a few other things. So when he told me, I said, I don't think it's that, but let's go to your home and go check it out. And sure enough, what I found was something called delay ignition. What is delay ignition? Delay ignition is basically the heat exchanger gets filled with gas and doesn't start up right away. But remember guys, it's gas. So it fills up the chamber with gas. There's three tries, otherwise you go to what we call a hard lockout. So what happened? It tries to initiate or try to turn on. So think about it. If we fill up the chamber with gas, you're filling it up, it doesn't light up on the first try. If he's filling up with gas, it doesn't light up on the second try. What do you think is gonna happen when the third try happened and it's full of gas? Now we have shitloads of gas in the chamber and we finally ignite the gas. Think about a fucking explosion, because that's exactly what it is, an explosion, it's a bomb, un pel. So the, the board is if they don't pel. You know what a pel is? Google it. So guys, it explodes, it creates a big explosion and it scares people because people think that, uh, listen, somebody's like little munchkins downstairs and fucking around with the boiler. But guys, it's dangerous because you're dealing with gas and we have to, and with something's called safety. Safety is very important, but the biggest thing here is that it has to be, it has to be done every year and people don't do their maintenance, people forget whatever it may be. And this is a symptom of lack of maintenance. So what happens is the heat exchanger is filthy and needs to be clean. And also we gotta make sure that the, the, this good ignition, these I would recommend to replace them at least minimum once a year. It's a cheap item, it's nothing too expensive. It's not gonna break the bank, but the main thing is actually the cleaning and maintenance. So I hope this is gonna bring some value to you guys and show you and give you some sort of awareness that I gotta do my maintenance.
All right, guys, we are officially over. It's over, baby. That's right, we finished wrapping it up right now, doing the actual maintenance and the little repairs we need to get done. So just for the record, guys, just before anybody say anything, this is not my installation. I came here to, to help a friend out. Also, I came him to help the issues that he had. So guys, let me go go through it, through the list. So the checklist is one, here's a support here, another support here. Another thing is, the reason why I put a drain cock here is to put a bypass here. Why did I do that? Because it's so busy, so what's going on, you wanna keep his budget low. There's already a drain cock over here, this is the cold water feed. So basically, I there's one over here, so I put one here. So, to put a bypass, I put a uh, hose on this hole, on this hose bit right here, connect it here, I shut this off, or I mean I close the valve I should say, and actually able to purge the actual system. That's not exactly how, the way I like to do it, but sometimes you gotta improvise and make things happen and work with what you got, especially with budgets, especially with the work that people have done. I mean, not only he's busy, because I don't like to, I mean, I could agree that this is not the best, the best type of soldering. However, we're not here to criticize anybody else's work. We're here to solve a problem and help them out. But the initial problem was that since the maintenance wasn't done, it was, it was a, what we call delay ignition. I'm sorry, it's been one of those days. <laughs> we have something called delay ignition. So it was filling up with gas and it was delayed. And guess what? I have a big explosion and this would sound like somebody is hammering the boiler. That was a really the initial call first. But I noticed that, guys, I was telling him, listen, you haven't cleaned it. When was the last time you cleaned it? And I told him, be honest with me. He's like, I didn't know you had to clean it. I'm like, bro, did you ever read the manual? So the point is, here, I need it to get done because I want to make sure my family is safe. So that's what we're here. We're going to make sure the family is safe and they're happy and they got a good job and they also have heat and hot water. And of course, we don't have nobody banging and hitting because that's what exactly what it sounded like. Kind of like somebody was banging on the actual boiler. So we changed the actual, the another hose bib or drain cock, whatever you guys want to call it, because it was leaking. So we changed this. We did all the, full, the thorough maintenance, meaning cleaning out the heat exchanger. A lot of guys don't do that. We cleaned out the heat exchanger um, in, in, in the inside, meaning the water side. So we cleaned out the heat exchanger on the domestic side, as well as the heating side. And we cleaned the heat exchanger on the fire side, which you guys already saw. Am um, I missing anything else? Oh, the neutralizer. Neutralizer brand new. Brand new pebbles. We cleaned it out. We replaced all the pebbles. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's safe to say that it's going to last another, at least a minimum another year. It's supposed to be done at least once a year. But guys, this is what it takes to do a thorough, thorough, thorough maintenance. And I cannot stress enough how important it is because people don't, don't think or they assume that it's supposed to last forever. And no, you need to do your maintenance. So guys, let's wrap it up by closing up the show. Listen, if you need this handsome son of a gun to come to your home and fix your boiler, hey, by all means, call Louis the Boilerman, 516-377-5200. And don't forget to do your maintenance. That's right. But listen, there's nothing here or there. It's about that time of the day. We want to wrap it up. So guys, most important, subscribe. Hit that bell button. Smash that bell button. Forget about hitting smash it. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you guys. <laughs> See what I mean? I would love to hear from you guys because it's been a very long day. So guys, with that being said, without further ado, weapon. <laughs>